have to introduce a notion right now, and this notion is called the counterbalance. A guy named David Lee wrote a book called Gravity Golf from Arkansas. Uh, it's a great book, you can get it online. And, but the one chapter in there, he talks about counterbalance. If I asked you how much do your arms weigh, most people wouldn't have a clue. But if you Google it, it's 12% in and around. So if you're a 200 pound guy like I am, and being polite, is about 25 pounds. You take a 25 pound ball and you throw that in front of you, that's a lot of weight. And you're gonna need more pressure on your heels to counteract that, 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 that weight and that force going forward. That's a very important notion to keep in mind. So at pressure transition, you're gonna have how much pressure in your trail heel? Optimally, we'll, we're gonna say 55%, but what I like to tell a room full of instructors is I only, I'm gonna comment on what I've seen every player do, and we could, have a, we could have a coffee and talk about what individual players do. At some point in the backswing, the pressure will go into the trail heel. Uh, obviously, that is accommodating the pelvis rotating deep and behind the player. I've never seen a tour player uh, not get pressure in the heel at some point in the backswing. Some do it sooner, some do it a little bit later, but at some point in a backswing, pressure should get into the heel. It's interesting that tour players have a tendency to get too deep in the trail heel. That Amateurs point. get too deep into the trail toe. A position, 55, 60 lead side. Pressure position number two, counter. Uh, uh, the pressure is moving forward and the lead arm is proud on the ground in and around. The 55, 60 to the trail heel. Now how much pressure should you get to the trail side depends on the golf club that you're, uh, you're hitting. The longer the golf club, the more lateral pressure uh, will be built up on the trail side. Obviously the driver being the most. Um, so we, we always say the range is anywhere from 60 to 90, even 95%. We had Jason Day on a body track and he was shifting quite a bit of pressure for his driver, but was not doing that on any of his other golf clubs. Interesting story, short to the point, Gary Holberg was a friend of mine when I was playing college golf, uh, and he, he, he had too much pressure in the trail heel. What did you do to get him out of that? Uh, too much pressure in the trail heel, we actually had him lift the heel. And that you would not do for an amateur.